Mars is fine, but it is a fixer-upper planet. There's work to do there to make it habitable. Mars, it's pretty far away, and to get there efficiently takes about nine months. And I don't know about you, but to me that's unacceptable. You probably get there in just a few weeks with more power. But I mean, what's all the hype about Mars anyway? Exploration's great and all, but Mars is pretty barren looking. Well, it wasn't always like that, and it doesn't have to be that way forever. So first off, we know that Mars used to be great, kind of like Earth, although we don't yet know if there was any life. Rivers and satellites have found lots of evidence that water covered loads of its surface for quite a while, filling craters and valleys, but it all seems to have just disappeared. Now it's just a bunch of salt water that makes everything slightly damp, not glorious. When Mars's core started slacking, its magnetic field became useless, leaving it vulnerable to having its atmosphere stripped away. The solar wind is a stream of charged particles that sort of expands outwards from the sun, and it knocked all of the particles out of Mars's atmosphere out into space. Now when a planet loses most of its atmosphere, all the liquids on its surface start to boil away, even though the temperature is pretty cold. So that's what happened to all the water. So yeah, because there's no useful magnetic field, you can't even use a compass on Mars. And that whole protecting you from deadly radiation thing that Earth does? Mars doesn't do that. You better take something to protect yourself out there. Now all of that paints a picture of a pretty poopy place. But there are some upsides that might even make you consider going there. First of all, it has a third of Earth's gravity. I mean, just imagine the trampoline parks. Like, you'd go super high. You'd probably be able to put trampolines on the walls and ceiling at that point. Also, the weather's pretty decent. I mean, it gets really cold in the night, but during the day, it's a pretty pleasant room temperature. You might have seen the beginning of The Martian with that crazy windstorm. Turns out in real life, it's not so bad. The wind doesn't have much energy because the pressure in the atmosphere is really low. Speaking of day and night, it has about the same day-night cycle as Earth, although the days are very slightly longer. Which is great, because then you're not stuck in nighttime for weeks at a time. Like you would be if you're on the moon. Also, it's a really beautiful place. It has our solar system's tallest mountain right next to its deepest canyon. The Valles Marineris. The grandest canyon. And lastly, it seems to have all of the ingredients we'd need to make it a second home. It's not too far away from the sun still, so solar power is still really useful there. Two, you have access to water, like, literally everywhere. If you take a bunch of Martian soil and, like, just heat it up a bit, you'll get water. In a lot of places, there's also just tons of ice if you dig a few meters down. Three, its atmosphere has loads of carbon dioxide in it. We can use that to make rocket fuel. And four, a lot of the ice on Mars is actually carbon dioxide ice. So if we melt enough of it, it'll eventually start to retain the sun's heat in the atmosphere. All of that new heat will start to melt even more carbon dioxide ice. And you can see where this is going. This snowball effect of more carbon dioxide going into the atmosphere means that the atmosphere will get thicker and retain even more heat. So the nights won't be so cold anymore. And suddenly with this new atmosphere, we can plant trees. We can make it like Earth with oxygen and life. I mean, it'll take a really long time, like probably hundreds of years, maybe even more, but with a lot of dedication and a good enough business case. I think it'll be truly beautiful, and here's why. Once in a while, nature makes something truly beautiful, truly unique, amid all that chaos of black holes and stars and dust and rock. This is our one chance to do the same to make the most beautiful work of art we possibly can. A new home. This has been Hayu. Wait, 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 it's not over. NASA's InSight lander is launching like right now. Once it lands, it's gonna map out the deep structure of Mars with seismology, with heat mapping, and also just try and figure out what the hell's going on inside of there. They're even gonna burrow like five meters down into Mars's surface to try and put a big temperature probe down there and figure out what kind of heat Mars is still putting out, whether it's still alive. And I really like this because we know a lot about Earth, but we don't know the full picture of how it formed or how planets form in general. So going out to another planet and trying to figure that out and look inside is really gonna help our understanding. If everything goes well with the launch, it should be landing November 26th this year. So yeah, go watch the launch, make sure it doesn't explode.